August the 14th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia, and we are following this year John MacArthur's devotional book entitled Drawing Near Daily Readings for a Deeper Faith. Today's entry is entitled Showing Kindness. We read from Scripture Love is kind. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4. Our main thought today is kindness repays evil with good. Pastor MacArthur writes, Two men going opposite directions on a narrow mountain trail meet each other head on. With a steep cliff on one side and sheer rock on the other, they were unable to pass. The harder they tried to squeeze past one another, the more frustrated they became. The situation seemed hopeless until one of them, without saying a word, simply laid down on the trail, allowing the other man to walk over him. That illustrates kindness, which doesn't mind getting walked on if it benefits someone else. The Greek word translated kind in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4, literally means useful, serving, or gracious. It isn't simply the sweet attitude we usually associate with kindness. It's the idea of being useful to others. It's the flip side of patience. Patience endures abuses from others. Kindness repays them with good deeds. God committed the supreme act of kindness when he provided salvation for lost sinners. Uh, the letter to Titus, chapter 3, verses 3 to 5, says this, At one time we too were foolish, disobedient, deceived, and enslaved by all kinds of passions and pleasures. We lived in malice and envy, being hated and hating one another. But when the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and the renewal by the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you shall find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my load is light. It's from Matthew chapter 11, verses 29 to 30. The Greek word translated easy is translated kind. In 1 Corinthians 13, 4, Jesus was saying, Trust in me. I'll redeem you and show you my kindness. Since you have... I kind of blew that sentence. Let me try it again. The Greek word translated easy is translated kind in 1 Corinthians 13. 13, 4. So it's the same word being used. When he says, my yoke is easy, it's the same word as when Paul in Corinthians says, kind. Jesus was saying, trust in me and I'll redeem you and show you my kindness. Since you have tasted the kindness of the Lord, that's from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 3, you should be anxious to show kindness to others. That's what Paul wanted the Corinthian believers to do. He knew they had the capacity, but they needed to repent of their selfish ways and allow love to dominate their lives. Dear friends, I commend you. I congratulate you for taking a few minutes to listen to one of Pastor MacArthur's excellent devotional reflections, even though I kind of butchered one of the sentences. But that's what makes us sort of real, isn't it? Anyway, I've taken Pastor MacArthur's uh, suggestions for prayer and for further study, and I've recorded them in the description portion of this video so that you can have them to refer to, and I strongly urge you to take advantage of that information and, and interact with it. it. It'll really help your devotional life. And I hope to be with you tomorrow for tomorrow's devotional reflection. Until then, may you go in the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ.